around about high 87s. Yeah. That's better than Cam. 180. Well, sometimes I just don't know how. Is it on Sporting? That was, uh, I think it was on a stream in Southampton. Because he could smash 45. his highest TV average, which is 92.24. If that double would have gone in, it would have been in excess of 100. He's got double 10 coming up. 56. He's not really under that much Daniel pressure. Daniel required 20. An ideal start beckons. Game, and Dan Reed shots, gets the job and the done. Match, that is Reed. a really good performance. I know he's missed a few doubles at the end there, and he's only got four from 11 on the outer ring, but the fact remains, from a scoring perspective, that was a really good, consistent performance, and his average probably should have been better than that, but he'll settle for 96.66, and Dimitri, you can see that he's in that range of the low 80s. He's going to have to get himself out of that if he's going to get out of this group. When we come back, we'll have a first look at Chucky, and he's up against Oscar Lukasiak of Sweden. The opening match in this one, and um, we both felt for Oscar to have a successful campaign in this Group B. Game shot on the first leg. He was going to have to Jim get off to a, a bright start. He got off to a great start. Strongest men, and there's a stone Jimmy up there that 70. at that point... Only 10 men had lifted over this particular height and put it over the other side. And now there's 11, because even though Eddie is no longer competing as a strong man, he's still Game incredibly shot strong. Line. And he, he popped McEwen. it over there. And then one of the Stoltman's brother picked it up like it was a marble. Well, this one's right next door to Tops. How many match darts does he need? Game, shot, no more. and the match. That Jim is a good McEwen. starting performance for Jim McEwen, averaging just shy of 86. His doubling was impeccable until the fourth leg. He did have plenty of breathing room, though. You see that Lukasiak hasn't really got out of the blocks here tonight, and that mid-80s average for McEwen was more than enough to get an ideal start by winning that one by four legs to nil. One more player to show you in their first game here tonight. It will be a stiff test against Dan Reed for Kieran Tien. No pun intended, Nico. <laughs> oh, another one of them with a banker in the top. Game shot on the fourth leg. That was probably Dan easier Reed. to hit that than miss it. Finishing has been okay from Dan tonight. Ooh, another double-double. Game certainly shot. is and the match. this time Dan not Reed. tops tops but double 18 double tops and he finishes off well, well, that dog really was the marker in that top corner this would really sting Game oh he's only going to find it again he's Dimitri been a monster Zucco. at that shot this week I've only seen that nine daughter about 50 times. And I'm still questioning myself whether it was gold darts. But this is definitely double 14. Game shot that on the fifth That is double 14. Jim and somebody's McEwen. not given up. Dimitri require eight. Dimitri's missed more. Because this group is just so short format-wise and game-wise, that's why every point and every double it's so crucial. No score. Wow. All three of those right on Jim the money. Jimmy required 10. All right. Another opportunity. This Game, time. Shots and the match. It's not an Jim opportunity McEwen. scorned as Jim McEwen uh, holds his hand up as if to say or acknowledges. I was a little bit fortunate there. Oh, the averages obviously took a pounding with that many missed darts at a double. 32 darts at a double between them. Seven doubles found. 82.76 in the end for Jim, and he does make it two from two. When we come back, someone's O's got to go as Oscar takes on Kieran.
Doesn't get any 18s there. So 85 left. Fixes it. Double top. Game show on the that first will make him feel so Oscar much Lucasio. better. That's his first double of the night. Another one of those for a match dart. At double 16, which he's already hit. Game there you go, shot Oscar Lukasiak, the match. who was Oscar fancied Lukasiak. by Mace earlier tonight. He didn't get a good start, but he has found a slightly better performance in this one to beat Kieran Tien by four legs to one. All of our games tonight, bar that fourth game, have all been won by a distance, and this one is no different. 50% on the doubles being the separating mark between those two, and the Swede gets this one by four legs to one. We require 140. Again, I'm not sure about the ball with the final dart. If you hit the 25, you leave 65. You're going at the ball again. You could hit the ball. 100. To leave, yeah. Just Oscar, you require 15. 89. Well, that's a nice dart, though. Double 16's been good to him tonight. Game it is again, 2-2. Two, two. Oscar Lukasiak. He withstands the pressure applied from Dimitri. Yup. Oscar, as Oscar Lukasiak six. looks to draw level with Dan Reed on four points and leave Dimitri Zukov and Kieron Tien on zilch at the bottom. At the bottom of the board. And the yields match. two points Oscar for the Swede. Lukasiak. So now he's in a very comfortable position. And he does get his second victory against the Latvian here in Group B for the week. It will be 2-2 going into their final match on Friday night. But Dmitry Zukov once again is ruining missed darts at a double. When we come back, it will be the final match of the night for Chucky up against Kieran Tien. Kieran, you require 121. With on four points, Reed on four points, and McEwen on six. It's now up to Tien and... Zukov to try and the make inroads, line. and that's the Guaranteed. ideal way to do it. Game well, shot. We've got a result line. in leg three. Jim McEwen. McEwen has hit double 12 for a 2 1 lead after that blistering start from Kieran 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 Double top for another break of throw. It's been his friend. Game shot on the fourth play. Darts Jim friends. <laughs> Tops and Jim. And 3-1 it is. Yeah, what Jim could go wrong 36. for Kieran tonight has gone wrong. Game um, Jim shot McEwen doesn't need a needing Jim McEwen. Needed asking twice. He absolutely slams that in the double 18. An average of 91.66 is best performance of the night. Same for Tian. 92.54. Problem for Tian. One from seven, four from eight for Jim. When we come back, Oscar Lukasiak against Dan Reed. Oscar Has require 89. Two choices here. It's hit the 57 and go for the 16s or. Guarantee the bull. He does guarantee the bull. 58. Answered him for that. Dan, you require 12. Game shot That's on nice. the fourth play. Dan Reed. Kasiak does not get a shot at 31. Go, Paul. Oski required 20. Oh, look at how much he's invested into this game. Concentration-wise, he is livid with himself. And game how good shot was Oscar at double 10 Oscar in that Lukasiak. game? And what a recovery, considering how he started tonight. He lost to Jim McEwen by four legs to nil, and since then, he won three straight games. And he deserves all the credit in the world for the way he's got himself off the canvas tonight. You saw what it meant to him at the end of that match. And he wins a tight one by four legs to three. When we come back, it's the final match between Tian and Zukov to see who finishes on two points for the night. Three time Here major champion. Here in require 84. Go for us as well. McElroy. Another great first start from Kieran. Game shot on the second kill. lay. Kieran Tian. Yeah. 
Double 12, two in hand. Only Game needs the shot. one and a very, and match. very Kieran tidy Tien. performance from Kieran Tien. And he does eventually get two points on the board. 91.48 is average. Credit to Dimitri. The average 93.9, but ultimately a scoring average is the only add one dart at a double. So Jim McEwen, he tops the table four from four on eight points. Lukasiak, after a, well, a terrible start, reeled off three on the spin to hold position two. Dan Reed in third. Tian now in fourth. And Dimitri on nil point is at the foot of the table. Let's have a quick roundup with the boys up on the balcony. Yeah, thank you very much, Chris. Paul Nicholson alongside me up here on the balcony to assess what we've seen this evening. And, well, Jim McEwen, the dominant player for out. Yeah, it was a pretty good night for Jim, wasn't it? Uh, everything seemed to go his way. Uh, he did have match starts against him, against Dimitri, but uh, fortunately for him, he found enough in the tank to get what could be uh, a brilliant start to a week where he could get another weekly title. But you've got to give him credit for getting the four, uh, the four wins from four. Well, these are the moments that won in those respective matches. And, well, that double five has been a real friend to him tonight. You're going to see Jim on tops, tens and fives a lot. Hopefully, for his sake, not on fives as much. But if there has been a double tonight that's come to his aid, it has been double five. That's a sign of missing other shots. But he was given too many shots by other players. And he was, well, OK, he had that one moment where he was struggling on the doubles. But when he got the opportunity, he was clinical. He was granite. Typical Scottish player, I suppose. Yeah, very much so. I think he just didn't show any signs of stress tonight. He was ready for the challenge. He had plenty of energy and having eight points in the tank, he knows that if he wins one or two games tomorrow, he's going to be in a very comfortable position ahead of Saturday. Well, let's have a look then and see how the... T uh, let's have a look at the results first and foremost from tonight's action. And I suppose the, the other real story this evening is Oscar Lukasiak. Well, he lost his first game 4-0 and then came back and won the other three. We don't associate Oscar with starting well. That has happened again tonight, but he has sprung into action a lot quicker than he did in Group A, and he needed to do that. If you look at his reaction when he wins his final match there, you can see how much it meant to him. He didn't want to be labelled as a slow starter who didn't get out of the blocks all night long. He's now on six points, he's part of the equation, and he's a couple of wins away from Saturday night, potentially. Well, let's have a look then at the table before we depart you this evening. As you can see, Jim McEwen leads away eight points to his name. Oscar Lukasiak on six points. Dan Reed won his first two games and was top of the pile early on in proceedings, but he ends the day in third. Kieran Tian in fourth, and Dimitri Zukov looking to get his first win of the group tomorrow. Well, Friday is the final day, but we're going to stay another day, aren't we, here at the Super Series? Is that any 17 joke? Possibly. It's a bit early. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I won't wear this again, I promise. Right. No, Backstreet Boys want it back. Right, we're going to be back tomorrow, <laughs> one o'clock, and we quite like it that way, don't we? Yeah, we do. We love Friday because it means that we can see who is going to be playing against Jim Long on Saturday night, and it could be another Jim, of course. It most certainly, well, it could well be. Jim McEwen, one win away. We'll see you tomorrow at one o'clock. But as far as Group B is concerned, well, Chucky chucked the darts in the way that Chucky likes to chuck the darts. See you tomorrow. <laughs>